Hi, I'm Nick, and I like comics. And I'm Adam, and I know comics. Welcome to another episode of Imperious Arcs, where we cover story arcs and other comic-related tidbits to better inform and nerdify the world. Today, we're discussing My Favorite Martian. Didn't that show have the guy that played Bruce Banner in it, um, Bill Bixby? Yes. But we aren't talking about that. We're discussing DC Comics' last son of Mars, John Jones, the Martian Manhunter. John Jones. Yeah, John Jones. No, John, John Jones. John Jones. John Jones? John Jones. Despite his ridiculous name, he's an awesome looking bald green guy with a cape. That's the one. John Jones, Martian Manhunter, first appeared in Detective Comics number 225 in 1955, created by Joseph Simachin and Joe Serta. He was accidentally transported to Earth when an Earth scientist was attempting to communicate with Mars. His sudden arrival struck the man with such surprise it gave him a heart attack that killed him. Versions of his origin differ depending on which continuity you follow, but the idea is usually the same. Yikes! If I saw him in his original form, I might have a heart attack too. Maybe if he ate more vegetables and less red meat. Who wants to do that? Mm. So Martian Manhunter's power set is pretty sweet, ridiculous, awesome. Yeah. Much like Superman, his powers were not well defined in the Silver Age. They fluctuated depending on who was writing his character. But his list of powers is probably longer than Superman. Now, I don't say this much, but Martian Manhunter could give Superman a run for his money. He has a lot of powers like Superman. He's got superhuman strength similar to Superman's strength level. He can fly. He's near invulnerable. He sounds like one tough cookie. He has a ton of power Superman doesn't, though. He can become intangible and pass through objects and become totally invisible. Invisible and intangible, that alone is terrifying. He can shift his shape into almost any form, becoming anyone or mimicking their voice or even their characteristics. This is what he does to look more acceptable by humans, as his natural form isn't exactly humanoid. He has telekinetic and telepathic powers. Basically, if you combine Professor X and Jean Grey from the X-Men, you would get Martian Manhunter's psychic abilities. You don't have to be a psychic to know not to mess with the Manhunter. And he has Martian vision, which is basically blasts that come out of his eyes, and he has nine senses. Wow. Daredevil's got nothing on this dude. Lastly, John has a genius level intellect. Now we've talked all about these great powers, but he does have some weaknesses, right? He's got one major one, fire. Wait, fire, like man's greatest weapon since forever? Yeah, pretty much. Depending on continuity, he has physically been weakened by fire, much like Superman is by kryptonite. Other depictions show it being the only thing that harms him. And even more recently, it's, a, it's shown to be that he has pyrophobia, or just a horrible fear of fire due to witnessing the fire demise of the rest of his race. Martian Manhunter has pretty consistently been a member of the Justice League since its incarnation, fighting along the likes of, you know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Arrow, and... Don't forget. Oh yeah, Aquaman. Yeah. You really like Aquaman, don't you? Uh, doesn't everybody? I mean, I guess he doesn't suck. <laughs> right? He right. doesn't. When Martian Manhunter isn't fighting crime with the Justice League, he spends his spare time solving crime as Detective John Jones. Not to be confused with his alien name, John Jones. He's original. And he obsesses over, of all things, Oreos. Do not mess with the Manhunter's Oreos. So you can find Martian Manhunter in most any Justice League story, but if you want some lighthearted reading, just check out Justice League International, written by Keith Giffen and J.M. DeMontes, with art by Kevin McGuire and later Adam Hughes. If you like this character bio episode, let us know in the comments below. And please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, I'm just gonna be eating some Oreos. Me too. Double stuff though. Which they may as well just call them Oreos because... Over a fire. Sure. A candle.